Okay, we got a scaredy girl named Tiki who was on Tuesday's Euthanasia List. Tuesday is September 6th, and she is unfortunately completely freaked out. So she came in with some puppies. The puppies are now big enough that they are separated from her, and she is by herself in the evaluation sea ward. Uh, I mean, she just, uh, this is exactly, look at this, I mean, this behavior. She's literally been out here for probably two hours. We've let her completely decompress. And she went in the back there and just laid down the grass. And at least for those hours, she was completely relaxed. She was breathing normal, just sitting. But I knew as soon as I came into the run, oh, there's Chelsea trying to comfort her. Good girl, Chelsea. They gave each other a good nose to nose. As soon as I came into the run, I knew exactly that it would disturb her and that she would jump up and run for me. And I hopefully getting back her, getting her back inside is not going to be too much a chore. But Tiki is just completely freaked out. In the eval ward, we really took a while, me and Gerald were working with her, to get her to come outside. And we didn't want to pull her. We just kind of sat with her. She, I don't know, she's looking for her babies. There were some uh, puppies at the end row, and she kind of gravitated to them uh, as if they were her puppies. I'd love for her to see her puppies, but they're in another ward. Um, she is three years old, unspayed. She's a stray from August 30th. She's 46 pounds, and thank God she's heartworm negative, which is amazing. She's such a pretty girl. Now, when she was kind of freaked out inside the kennel and was bouncing around and doing zoomies on the leash, she had ample opportunity if she was going to do any sort of snapping or biting or anything like that and did not. There is There was not an ounce of aggression that we saw in this girl. Just freaked out. And when kind of cornered, even though we tried to get her as relaxed as possible with the leash, she still didn't exhibit that behavior. So that that's a plus. I mean, she is just going to need to decompress for days, if not weeks, in a foster home to just start her whole life over. But she's going to be fine. She's not, you know, doesn't not afraid of the human touch and is not aggressive. So here's our beautiful girl Tiki, T-A-K-I, one eight three nine four seven one on on Tuesday's youth list. She's going to need a, a hail mary, but she's worth it. All right, babies. Hi, girl.